Sai Oa Lao sausage is packed with exciting flavors that no other sausage can compare to. It comes with all the essential Lao ingredients packed into fatty pork goodness. There will be blasts of lemongrass, golongol, and plenty of umami from the badak. The process is a labor of love, but once you finish, it will be well worth every bite. Deep frying the pieces will make it unstoppable. The Baidi Pinang, hi fam, welcome back to Sang's Kitchen. Since this month is June, we are going to dedicate this video and also celebrate Pride Month. And so let's all just come together and watch this video of me lip syncing with Lao sausages. All right, enough of that. I know you all are here to learn about how to make the best sausages in the world. Lao sausages are flavorful, are a little spicy, sweet, and just so complex in flavors with just that one single bite. I don't think I've found anyone that doesn't like Lao sausages, if you know what I mean. Okay, enough of that. Let's get right into the cooking. The first thing you wanna do is prepare the meat. So you wanna work with about a 70-30 ratio, meaning 70% should be around lean meats and then the 30% will, will be from the fats. So with their pork belly, you're gonna dice that up in rough, rough cuts. And then with a food processor, I'm just gonna go ahead and pork my pork belly in and grind it up. And you're gonna see that because it's frozen, it grinds a lot better than having really mushy fat. Go ahead and put both of those items into a bowl. And then I have all my other items that I have to prepare. So I'm gonna put all this ground meat and fat right into the freezer as I prepare all the other items. Go ahead and put the casing right into a large bowl and then you're gonna rinse it off with warm water. You're gonna rinse it a few times until all the salt is taken off. And then once all the salt is off, you're gonna just let it sit in room temperature water for about 90 minutes. And this is gonna help the casing expand. So when you fill it with pork that it doesn't rip. Now let's go ahead and grab our meat mixture in the freezer and take it out. We have a lot of ingredients to mix in here. So go ahead and add this as you go. In the bowl, you wanna add golongol, lemongrass. Whenever I have a lot of lemongrass, I like to snip off the tops and put this into the freezer to save for later. So lemongrass is essentially a very large grass that we use as an herb. There are three types of lemongrass and the one most commonly used in Lao cooking is called sea citrus. Now lemongrass tastes like lemon, but also with a slight hint of ginger. Now this herb is used all over Southeast Asian cooking, but it is also used in the Caribbean for a healthy, delicious tea. This is getting cold, I need to let go now. Shallots, green onions, cilantro, sticky rice, lime leaves. These leaves come from a very different kind of rough and bumpy exterior lime. Baiki hoot are lime leaves from the makrut plant. And so this plant is really interesting because we don't use the fruit, but the leaves are used all across Southeast Asia. So this is probably one of those aromatic essentials that you should always have in your fridge or freezer. Garlic cloves, bird eye chili, oyster sauce, salt, sugar, black pepper, badak, unfiltered fish sauce, and then fish sauce. And you wanna let this mix for about three to five minutes until you see that slight sticky texture. Your fat and meat should be cold at all times when creating this even mixture. While keeping your meat cold, you also wanna make sure that you mix the mixture just enough to create the macromolecule separation. This is where the protein of your meat starts to denature because of the sodium creating myosin protein strands that we get that nice texture that you know of a sausage. So remember, mix just enough and also keep your meat cold. The 90 minutes have gone by, you wanna go back to the casing and check on it. So now that the casing is more pliable and flexible, you're gonna go ahead and fill it with water. You wanna make sure that the insides are also very well clean. So go ahead and fill it with water and just let it run through the, the casing. And now we're gonna set up our stuffing station. Back when I was a kid, my mom used to use a 16 ounce plastic bottle. She would cut it, then use that as a stuffer. But today I have a KitchenAid, and I'm gonna show you how to use that to stuff your sausages. With the casing, go ahead and put it onto your stuffer all the way through, and you're gonna leave about three inches off, so that will be tied off at the end. Now this part would be really helpful if you had someone there to help you with, but if not, you're gonna have to multitask. So you're gonna grab your meat from the freezer and go ahead and start stuffing it right at the top. 
And then with your other hand, you're gonna wanna hold the casing to make sure it stays on put and also when the stuffing comes out that you can um, gradually spread the filling throughout the casing. And now you wanna go ahead and push the meat right on down through the stuffer and then you're gonna see it slowly come out into the casing and you wanna continue with this process until you fill the entire casing. I'm gonna tie off one end, I'm gonna massage the sausage so that it's evenly distributed and then I'm gonna go ahead and tie the other end. Once you're out of meat and you've filled all your casings, you have all your sausages there. So you wanna dry these off just a bit. And if you have the patience, go ahead and actually put them back in the fridge and let them sit overnight because that's where the flavors will really marinate. But if you don't have the patience, you can start cooking them right away. But when you decide to cook them, you can use your oven. But today I'm gonna to use my air fryer because that's quick and convenient and also gives me that crispiness that I want. So I'm gonna put my sausages right into my air fryer at 400 degrees for 10 minutes and let that crisp up. And then I'm gonna flip it and do another 10 minutes and it should be ready. Now I'm gonna let my sausage sit for five minutes to let all that moisture really go through the sausages. And then I'm gonna cut them. One of my favorite things to do with leftover Lao sausages to, is to add an additional cooking process. So I'm gonna cut this into bite-sized pieces and then I'm gonna do a quick fry. So you're gonna turn your deep fryer on for 350 degrees and then you're gonna quick fry for two minutes and you're gonna see how crispy and really dark and delicious these come out. This is the type of Lao sausage you're probably used to eating at restaurants. Here it is y'all, Lao sausages. I cut them and then deep fried them and I'm gonna eat them as a lettuce wrap. Oh, I just smell all those herbs. I'm just gonna put it in this wrap right here. Mmm, that perfect bite. Mmm. So good, too good. Make sure to stuff a lot of Lao sausages because you can always freeze them and serve them later. These Lao sausages go perfect with sticky rice, eaten as a lettuce wrap, or even you can make a Lao sausage hot dog. So let me know in the comments below if you've stuffed your own sausages, and I'll see you all next time on Sang's Kitchen. Bye.